Um, what was it like for you to be able to bring rural Kansas to a national um, audience using National Geographic? You mean like the Flint Hills or Cuba, Kansas? or? Sorry. Well, I guess kind of you're known for your work that you've done with rural Kansas, mm -hmm. but um, sure. in particular the Flint Hills and Cuba, Kansas. Um, I, I always wanted to do that, uh, to, to bring rural Kansas um, to the greater world, um, if I could. Um, and the opportunity with National Geographic came up through the story on Cuba and on uh, the Flint Hills, particularly because I had seen all these other photographers, uh, my heroes in photojournalism like Henri Cartier-Bresson, who had done the same thing for France, um, W. Gene Smith, who had done you know, stories in rural areas uh, of the South and, and whatnot, you know. Um, and I, I understood, I saw the ways that photography lends uh, validity to a place. It makes it real. And it, not only to the people who see the pictures, but to the people who are being portrayed. It, it puts them um, on a pedestal. It, it draws attention to them and it lets them speak in a way to a broader audience than they would normally get in their everyday life. What made you um, abandon psychology and go for the photo internship at the Capitol Journal? I really got uh, to being a senior and I had enjoyed all the majors that I'd had including history and education and electrical engineering and <coughs> as well as psychology. But I really came down to that point of thinking about what I wanted to do day to day, every day. And while psychology was, for me, a fascinating thing to study, I was not sure that I wanted to do that as a, as for my daily life. In the meantime, I happened to get a job here with student publications and um, for the Collegian, and that really clicked, and I did enjoy doing that, and then that's been a, 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 a seamless progression for the last 40 years since then of, of that leading one thing to another. It's the most memorable moment at Kansas State. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> um, I think I, I uh, well there were two things. I was there at the fire when Nichols' gym burned down uh, and that was a heck of a big fire. That was very memorable. But I was also in the end zone as a student photographer when uh, when uh, K State beat Oklahoma uh, 59 to 21 in uh, what year would that have been? 1969, with Vince Gibson and Lynn Dickey as quarterback of the football team, and uh, and uh, and it was uh, that that was incredibly exciting. By uh, and by that night, uh, students were burning uh, trash dumpsters in the middle of Aggieville.